Few people in the video game world demand as much respect as Will Wright. Wright has done nothing but release incredibly innovative and addicting games like SimCity and The Sims. Now, Wright expands past just the neighborhood to the entire span of a galaxy. Seems like a rather large jump, don't you think? In Wright's latest game, Spore, the player will literally play God to an entire race of beings and watch them throughout the entire course of their existence. Does Wright succeed in this seemingly Herculean task? Let's find out. The game itself consists of five different stages. The first stage is the self stage, in which you choose being either a herbivore or carnivore. As you swim around the pool, you have to eat to grow larger. Eventually, you will be able to kill other cells for simple upgrades such as spikes and poisons. After about 20 minutes of learning how to play in the pool, you will most likely evolve and get to walk on the land. This seems like it would be a huge change in the game, but really all you have to learn is how to move on the land. Once you get on land, the game does become a little more challenging though. You now have the decision to attack and wipe out other life forms or try to befriend them. This stage of the game is pretty simple because all you have to do is control one character and walk around exploring the planet and other life forms. As you explore, you get to find more upgrades for your creature, which you can upgrade in the creature creator. More on that later. <clears throat> After a while of exploring by yourself, you will upgrade to be able to have more and more of your brethren travel with you. This makes the game much more like an RTS since you will be controlling more and more beings. The next stage, the tribe phase, is a lot of fun. In this stage, you start waging bigger battles with other tribes and start dominating the area of your planet. This stage is great because it's the first stage that really starts to feel like a game and not just a tutorial. The next stage, the civilization phase, I loved. It's probably my favorite part of the game with its very RTS-like feel. This part is great because you can finally take over the world if that was your ultimate goal. The final stage of the game is the space stage. You get to start designing your own spacecraft and get to explore the rest of the galaxy. This part is great because you get to either explore the rest of the galaxy and see how the rest of the universe has evolved, or you can try and take over the rest of the galaxy. Now I wouldn't feel right giving a spore review without talking about the creature creator. This is honestly one of my most favorite parts of any game ever. The first week I had this game, I didn't play anything except the creature creator. I must have made a good 3,000 creatures without even getting into the meat of the game. You honestly can make anything your mind can think up. And if you ever get on the Sporopedia online, you will literally see anything your mind can't think up. There are already more creatures on the Sporopedia than there are in the entire world. So basically, the creature creator will probably take a, a good portion of your time. Now, sadly, I have to rate this game. I must say, even for all the greatness that was this game, there are still some minor flaws. The controls feel better suited for a first-person shooter. This doesn't hurt the game as much as you might think, though. It just makes things a little harder to get used to at first. Another little flaw is the game is very, very easy. Like getting into Andy's pants easy. There's absolutely no consequences for dying and it just seems to dumb the game down. Even with these minor, minor flaws, the game still shines. For the presentation, I give it a 9.3. The game will give you any hints or help that you need so the learning curve isn't that big. Everything also is just done very well. The graphics are a little above average. Now they're nothing like Crisis, but the game does display perfectly all the modifications on hundreds of your creatures. It really shines. I give the graphics a 9.5. For the sound, it's pretty standard. All the creatures will have different mating calls and dance move music. Yeah, dance move music. So it really adds some authenticity to each creation. I gave the sound an 8.8. .8. Now I must talk about the one little flaw in this game. If I have mentioned earlier, there are some minor things that could have easily been made better if they had just spent a little more time and fixed them. It's not all that difficult to play. It's just that the game's not very deep. So most hardcore gamers will get bored with the easiness of the game. I give the gameplay an 8.2. Finally, to talk about this game's lasting appeal. I cannot stress enough how much fun the creature creator is. The game will also be fun for a few playthroughs. I give this game a 9.5 for lasting appeal since I still can't stop creating. Overall, for Wright's newest masterpiece, Spore, I give the game a 9.3. This is a great game that I had great time playing and I'm sure you will too.